Hello peeps, this is Latrell, your trader is chick, where we trade indicator free other than the 21 EMA. Happy Monday, Peep Nation. How'd your trading go today? For me, I had one win and two losses. When I have a loss, I take my snip, drop it in my electronic journal, and take a good look at it to see what I did wrong. Remember, no trading strategy is 100%. Most, you'll be lucky to get 60% or a little bit better, but taking smaller amount of trades is key. The more trades you take, the more chances you have at losing. Let's review. My first trade, I was looking to fade the breakout back into the larger range. Now, for some reason, I was thinking it was going to be a morning star, which is sort of like a triple. It's a three candlestick pattern that usually tells you that the, the trend is going to change. But that bar um, right after the large red bar, that wasn't quite right. So that's really like my way of trying to guess a bottom. You know, I just figured, I guess I should have let it really exit the range, which it hadn't done yet. So that was on me. I just really went in too early because if you were in stream today, you would see that two larger bars, a red one and then a green one to go back into it which gave you a double bottom, that's where I should have went in it. Lesson learned. My second trade, I took a second entry long up from the mini double bottom. Now in my mini uptrend channel from the bottom of the larger range, it was a that mini double bottom sort of created like a lower high and then it rocketed up past the EMA and then it came back into the range retesting that original low where you see the red line so once that um, doji bar finished if it goes past the wick then it's you know the second entry so because that bar has to be my signal bar so once it went past that I came in there since it kept wiggling around there sort of like telling me like hey you need to get in right here so I took that tray and it was a winner and notice when it gets to see where the green and red dotted lines are there together how prices earlier just wiggle around there often that's the open and close from the close from last night and the open from this morning once the candles get close they just hang out for a little bit before they either turn around or they'll blow through and come back to it and touch it one more time and keep going my third and final trade was me taking what I thought was a first entry long at the EMA, but the count should have actually reset since a new high was created. I'm still trying to get my bearings on counting these legs, but at the top of the upward trend channel, prices started to go sideways and you're really expecting like two legs back to the EMA and it also met that trend channel but I received a new high before it actually went down to the EMA so my count should have started over and that's why the trade went against me also lesson learned Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Shout out to those who attended the live stream this morning. If you haven't watched the live stream, I've linked the video replay here. Be sure to peck that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we go live and new recap videos are uploaded. I'll see you guys tomorrow. May the trades always go your way.